What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Dillian, the body snatcher White, and Anthony Joshua. You know Dillian White has a totally different perspective on Anthony Joshua's new trainer search, and this is what he had to say. Dillian White told Talk Sports, he says, the easiest thing to do when you lose is to question the people around you instead of questioning yourself. Rob McCracken is a great, is a great trainer. Look what he's done for Carl Frotch and the other people on the GB squad. But when you lose, you start looking for excuses. Oh, maybe I didn't sleep enough. Maybe it's my coaches. Joshua's problem is with himself. It's not with his coaches. It's him. He said he let all these idiots come around him and start telling him, ah, yeah, do this, be like this. He should have started steaming Usyk after a few rounds. He should have at least tried. He just subdued to a 12-round beating. And he was asked if AJ can triumph in the rematch. White replied, I don't know. I thought Usyk stopped him in the last round. He said, in White's view, um, wow. Wow. The referee should have stopped it. Let me stop there. Uh, Anthony Joshua did get in trouble in the 12th round. Okay. Um, but to stop it, I don't think so. Why? Because for one, there was no knockdowns previous. Yeah, did Usyk hurt him with punches? Yeah, he did. Okay. He hurt him with punches, but he didn't hurt him to the point where his legs were weak or he couldn't fight for himself, even though he didn't return fire in the 12th round. You know, that would be the only argument that I would, you know, understand that Dillian White would made. And I don't think that, I really don't think that um, the fight was, uh, it should have went the full term, I feel. You know, people say, oh, it went three minutes. Okay, you know, well, you know, I've never seen a, a clock do that, but well, should it have been stopped? No, it shouldn't have been stopped. If he would have went down in the 12th round, that would have just sealed the deal. You know, that would have been like the cherry on top. Usyk got a knockdown on the bigger, stronger uh, Anthony Joshua. But mentally, he said it's not him. He's looking for excuses. Well, let me counterpunch Dillian White on that. Well, Rob McCracken, you know, and I do think he does get over criticized like a lot of trainers do. Look at Manny Robles. When when Manny Robles and Andy Ruiz went into the second fight with Joshua, and Joshua was a challenger, when he lost, the first thing they did with Team Ruiz, they fired Manny Robles, which was wrong on a lot of levels. And he couldn't even do it himself. He called his daddy to do it. So, you know, that was those are the type of things that trainers have to deal with on the political side because a loss occurred. OK, maybe that's Rob McCracken, but I can tell you this. Rob McCracken gave him the wrong instruction. You didn't go in for him, for them thinking they are going to outbox Usyk. And then the punching or the or the punches that uh, Joshua gave Usyk were going to be enough to stop Usyk. They were wrong. They had that wrong. OK, and they thought they were just going to go in there and chess match with Usyk and actually win. That was the wrong game plan. So that highly needs to be questioned. It does. You know, because I just watched um, Ronnie Shields interview and they, you know, and it was like, well, why would they even decide to do that? And I said it myself, if he tried to go in there and, and box or outbox Usyk, he's going to lose. That's Usyk's game, not his game. But if that's all Joshua had to resort to was just box, 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 it's not working. Okay, let me box some more. Well, that may be him, you know, because at the end of the day, Joshua is a guy that we've seen him up the ante. We've seen the uh, uh, the Vlad fight and the Povetkins and all those. We've seen those massive knockouts, you know, and then when he gets hurt, yeah, he's a technician in there when he gets you hurt. But if he doesn't, you know, he's going to be somewhat on the standstill. So a lot of people question his mental state 
when he did lose to Andy Ruiz, even when he beat Andy Ruiz, because he didn't gauge at all with Andy. And I think, and this is what I feel, and I'll say it again, Anthony Joshua, the worst thing that, that Andy did was come in 300 pounds. Because Joshua beat him easily by outboxing him. So I think that will always be that go-to solution that's an easier way to handle a certain pro a certain problem or, or uh, opponent, rather, when he decides to, well, let me go back to boxing and try to figure it out. No, because if a guy's better at that, then what are you going to do in return? You know, you have to have a plan B, and I don't think there was a plan B. So back to White saying, well, Rob McCracken's a good trainer. You know, stay light on your feet and use your jab. No, you have to take it to him. And at no point, there was no sense of urgency from their corner, from Team Joshua, from whatever, to make that happen. It would have been different if round nine or 10, like, hey, listen, you're losing this fight. So that was an automatic, and that was another problem I had with those guys. With, you know, with Rob and whoever, Joey, I think his name is, they, you know, there was should, no time they should told him brilliant, beautiful. You know what I mean? And, and that's, they, you know, that's one thing I know where another trainer like Ronnie Shields is not going to bullshit a Anthony Joshua like, hey, you're losing this fight. You know what I mean? That's what he needs. He may need someone to tell him like it is and tell him straight. You know, not sugarcoat him or pacify him with lies and false information about how a fight is going. And that's exactly what happened. But Dillian White was like, hey, it should have been stopped. No, <laughs> you know, no, I don't, you know, I don't think it should have been stopped. You know what I mean? That, no, I don't think that was the case. But I think he was in trouble for that fight. You know, I believe in a, at least giving a fighter a count if he would have failed. OK, so, you know, mentally, maybe, you know, uh, trainer wise, maybe, maybe it's a compare and maybe it's a mixture between the two 50 50. Because if you think it's mental about Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua was surprised that he lost. So he thought he won. <laughs> but anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Dillian White saying that he thought Alexander Usyk stopped Anthony Joshua in the 12th round. Tell me what you think. Please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.